every living creature must eat to live. An ox, as we all know, can do very nicely on nothing but grass. There are other creatures on this earth that require a diet of meat, and only meat. While still others prefer vegetables and fruit. Always the same food. Well, that's all right for them, because they only need one type of food. Ah, but here's careless Charlie and his family, who are also trying to exist on one type of food. No wonder they're in this run-down condition. They don't know that man is different, because man needs a variety of foods to be healthy. Yes, it's true, they do eat plenty of good beans and cornbread. Still, they are not well fed. You see, these foods, corn and beans, are both the same type of food. And man needs three different types of food. So in addition to corn and beans, he needs some animal products. And a third type, vegetables and fruits. Why? Well, simply because each fills one of the three main needs of the human body. Animal foods are muscle builders. Vegetables and fruits build sound bones and teeth. And grains and roots give energy. The combination of all three builds resistance against disease. Oh yes, you have big muscles too, but <clears throat> look at where they are. No, Charlie, the only road to good health is to eat the correct foods. And you can raise these foods right in your own yard. Well, Charlie took this good advice and now things are very different. With the help of his family, he raises, in addition to corn and beans, some animals. He also grows a good variety of vegetables and he's planted some fruit trees. The soil now produces the necessary three types of food. Animal, grains and roots, and vegetables and fruits. And uh, this delicious stew, which contains all three types of food, is now a very popular dish on Charlie's table. Is it any wonder, then, that this family is today the picture of health? Compare this health-giving variety of foods with their old one food habit. But our friend is not careless anymore. Today, he's known as Careful Charlie. Yes, one person here deserves special credit. And that is, uh, excuse it please, uh, Mrs. Charlie. Because she always tries to include in their meals some of each of these three types of food. Now, for muscle building and strength, she depends on the animal products. Chickens are easy to raise, and they're a delicious dish. Eggs, too. They're an excellent food. Hogs will eat everything. And besides good meat, they provide lard and fat for body warmth. Cows or goats provide good, rich milk. Milk is a very important food. All growing children must have it. In fact, milk has been called the perfect food. These animal products, plus an occasional fish, go largely to build muscles. Now, to use our muscles, we need energy. For energy and endurance, we can always count on the second group. 
the grains and roots. The usual corn and beans, potatoes, sweet potatoes, plantain, peanuts, and sugar cane. A wide variety of energy foods which help us do a day's work and not be worn out. But how far would we get without a sturdy frame? So, for straight, solid bones, we must eat plenty of the third type of food, vegetables and fruits. That's why Mrs. Charlie wisely has fresh vegetables and fruits growing every day of the year. Cabbages, tomatoes, carrots, peppers, pumpkins, green beans and peas, whatever's in season. And fruits, papayas, bananas, oranges, avocados, mangoes, apples, an almost endless assortment of the third group of foods which is so necessary for the building of good bones and sound teeth. The lives of growing children are so often ruined by weak bones. When by eating enough vegetables and fruits, this handicap could be avoided. And so remember, it's the vegetables and fruits that help us to have strong bones. And since we need strong muscles, we must have muscle building foods, animal foods. And then we need energy foods, grains and roots, so we can move and earn a living. Yes, it's this same plan, a plan of eating the three necessary types of food that keeps our friends in fine health. And the soil has rewarded Charlie for his carefulness and efforts. For the soil will respond generously, rewarding those who work it, providing an abundance of foods to fill all three of our body's needs. But let's not forget, it's the combination of all three that builds protection against disease. Indeed, we can all learn a lesson from careful Charlie and his wife. For by eating the correct foods, they are now enjoying life. And they have given their children the priceless gift of good health.